Hello guys, what do we got here today? I put the uh, German made series on hold. I'm waiting for a few things that were on back order and I, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. So anybody that's still waiting for that, it's still coming, I haven't forgot about it. What I got here is an uh, unboxing, although I've had it for a few weeks. It's the Craftsman V series, 3H drive flex head ratchet. The model number is CMMT. 86326V. It is 96 tooth, made in Taiwan. It's 14 inches long. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, I do a lot of tool reviews, mostly middle of the road, some low end and high end sprinkled in. Uh, I've been doing some uh, car tech tips as well as some small repairs this year. I try to do a, a, a lot of different things, and I have I also do a lot of giveaways. Every other week, I do giveaways. I gave away two Snap On ratchets the past month. I've had a lot of giveaways and I plan on having more, but getting off of that. Okay, this is the packaging that came in. I got two, you know, that's a story why I got two, but I got two. Shout out to Don, Don sent me two. We trade tools sometimes, he sent me two. He's very, very generous. Okay, what we got here now? Where's, again, let's put the model number in for you. I can get it in here for you. CMMT86326V. This is a 3H Tri-Flex head. This is the V-Series, which is their flagship, their Pro line. And, uh, full lifetime warranty. I'm not, everybody always asks about the warranty. I'm not sure. I never tried to warranty one out. I just got these. It's got 3.75 degree art swing. This is the packaging guys that came in. See what else it says here. 180 degrees articulating head for difficult to reach fasteners. Bi material handle for comfort and grip. Low profile direction lever to help prevent accidental switching. 3.75 degree art swing for access in tight areas. Join the club. <laughs> All right. That's the one that's in the package. Let's take one out. I'm going to tell you what I do and don't like. I've had this one for a few weeks now. I just started using it. I, I have a lot of ratchets. Anybody that knows the channel knows that. So what I do like about it, let's do that first. Very, very nice looking ratchet. I think it's one of the nicest looking ratchets out there. I love how the head is, how they got it recessed. It's like a, like a two-step design. I've never saw one like that. If anybody else has got a design like that out there like that, I haven't seen it. I do like that. The chrome is really, really nice. Anvil's nice and tight. It is stamped on the head. I always like to see that. It's got this knurling on the handle, which is kind of cool. I like. And you can you can tighten up the uh, flex head part, which I always like to see. That's what I like about it. What I don't like about it, obviously the head's enclosed, so that means it's non-serviceable. To me, that's always a big thing. Yeah, you can soak it overnight, ATF fluid, and that will help somewhat. I haven't done it with this yet. I've been so damn busy, but you could do that. I'm sure it would help a little bit. Um, I, do, I, I don't like that about it. The flex is tight, though. It is tight, the flex part, though. That's a plus. I hate the handles. I mean, they feel good. It's got that, uh, it almost reminds me of a soft, you know, almost like a Corvette tire, a Z-rated tire. You got that soft compound rubber. Uh, motorcycles got it, the, the, the pocket rockets. That's what it feels like, the compound. So it is pretty soft. It's just small. I got small hands, guys. I got a size uh, 8 or 9, I think it might be 9 now, ring finger. I got very, very small hands, and it gets lost in my hands. I'll put a uh, die hard next to a handle. You'll see how much it's bigger. The die hard handle. I'll put a crat, uh, not a crash, but a gear wrench next to it. You can see the handles. Let me get my hand, my hand out of the way. The handle's bigger as well. So it's on the small side. You know, if you got big hands, I don't think you're going to like that. It's hard. It's a hard rubber there, and it's got that soft rub, but it does feel like a, a motorcycle, high-performance motorcycle or high-performance car tire, those Z-rated tires. But, yeah, by the way, that's what I got on my, my Chevelle. Um, 
but it's small. And, and not being serviceable, I don't like that. The head size is it's kind of big, not so much this way. The Milwaukee's bigger that, that way. The old gear wrench is a little bit bigger that way. And the old diehard's just a little bit bigger. But the other way, it's chunky. If you go this way here, you'll see how much chunkier it is. I'll put, it, I'll put a caliper on the other way. The other way was close. How thick it is, it's pretty thick head, and that's going to affect, that's going to affect, affect. Just under 18. The Milwaukee is 15, so it's three and a half millimeters bigger than the Milwaukee that way. The gear wrench is smaller, a lot smaller too. That's, that's just under 14. And the die hard is 15.78. So let's put it back on here. What was it? 18? I forgot what it was. 18. So it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger than those other three the other way. So that way it's a chunky monkey. You can see it there compared to the rest of the three other three ratchets. And the back drag. These are famous for having a lot of back drag. This one here isn't horrible. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I got lucky. It doesn't feel that horrible. It does still got some back drag, but it, but it isn't horrible. 96 too, if you want to hear it. Shout out to Tom. He likes the tooth counts to hear him. This one needs to be soaked in ATF, though. I think that will help it somewhat. I haven't done it yet. It does feel dry. But that being said, there's not a whole... It's not... This one, this one is, is one of the better ones. Uh, for the V-Series. Some of the V-Series ones I got totally suck with back drag. This one doesn't seem too, too bad. Still got some good back drag, but I've seen worse. Let's see what it does here. Click, click, click. Yeah, so this one's not, it's not horrible. It's just not good. <laughs> you know? But this one needs a bath, I think, but that's the only way you're going to get to it. You know, being a sealed head, I, I don't know. Sealed head's going to be a deal breaker for a lot of you guys. I'm sure of that. Um, and uh, there's no detent bomb there, by the way. That's going to be a factor with some guys. So there's no detent bomb. It's chunky monkey that way. The head is non-serviceable. So that's, those are, and the handles are small. Just my take on them, guys. I don't think they're a horrible ratchet. I think that, I just don't understand why they wouldn't have a serviceable head. I don't know if they were thinking on that. If that was a serviceable head and they made a, the grip a little bit bigger, just my opinion, guys. Some of you guys must love, might, yeah, might love these. That would be a lot better ratchet. And as a price, the price is kind of expensive. It's around $75 for a 3H drive ratchet. And that's getting up there a bit, you know. It's not the truck, the tool truck prices, but it's getting up there. Just my thoughts. I'll do a follow-up probably this summer, late summer on one of these. I got a bunch of them now. Uh, what are we going to do tomorrow? I'm not even sure tomorrow. We'll have something going on. I, might, I got something cool to show you. But stay tuned. Anybody else supported the channel, I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, you guys have a great day.